The stage is set for November's election. Primary results are coming in. Our team is in position covering all the key races in southeast Wisconsin. And we begin with a hotly contested sheriff's race in Milwaukee County. And here's where things stand right now. Incumbent David Clark ahead of Chris Mays. This is with 29% of the votes reported. Steve Shamraz is live at Sheriff Clark's election headquarters in Milwaukee. Steve. Mike, Carol, the mood's been pretty good here tonight. As you said, the sheriff uh, holds a lead, and he's done that for pretty much the entire evening of vote counting. This has been a very unusual race for Milwaukee County Sheriff as nearly $600,000 in outside money was spent by groups trying to influence this election, a primary election. Clark supporters here say a win would show those outsiders cannot influence what happens in Milwaukee County. It would also mean four more years of a tough talking sheriff who happens to run as a Democrat but is a darling to conservative Republicans. I think people are tired of the old political games and they want having people from other states come in and try to buy a position in this in this city isn't going to work. I think it would say a lot. Um, he's a law and order guy, he tells the truth, doesn't mince his words. Uh, what he says is what he's going to do. It's unlike the other guy. The sheriff has also had some outside groups working on his behalf, notably the National Rifle Association spending money trying to get the word out that he is very strong for the Second Amendment. Since there are no Republicans running in this race, the winner, and right now if the numbers hold, it looks like Sheriff Clark would be the winner, would walk to victory in November, meaning this is the biggest race to be decided tonight, but still about two-thirds of the vote outstanding, and uh, the race still too close to call, Mike and Carol. Okay, we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you very much, Steve. Katie Crowther continues our team coverage from Chris May's headquarters. And Katie, what's the mood there? The mood here is still excited and hopeful. I'm actually joined by Chris Mays, who's here to tell us how he feels tonight. You're surrounded by your family, friends, supporters. It's a good night for you. It's a great night. We feel excited. Uh, the results are coming in slowly, but uh, we're just we're in a fantastic mood, and it's great to be surrounded by loved ones and supporters. And I know some of the uh, percentages have showed that you're losing by a little bit, but still two-thirds of the votes still need to come in, so you're very hopeful. Yeah, I don't know what the numbers are. I haven't been focusing on that. Right now I'm just celebrating with a lot of friends and family, and uh, hopefully the numbers at the end of the night are going to show that we are going to bring a new change into the Sheriff's Department. You guys talk, we, just, we spoke earlier, talk about what you want that change to be and why you feel you're the right man for the job. Well, we need fiscal accountability, we need to get down to brass tacks and be effective on crime, and we're going to do that by working well with other people, so we're going to have effective leadership. All right, that's all we have time for right now, but we will check back with you in a little bit. The race, not over. It's not over till it's over. We, the party here is still very going strong. We'll check back with you guys in a little bit. For now, reporting live, Katie Crow there, today's TMJ4. Remaining optimistic. Katie, thank you very much.